You ever had a credit card? Yep. Okay. Quantitative easing is when American Express, Visa, MasterCard calls you and tells you your credit limit has gone from $5,000 to $15,000. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Quantitative easing is when Visa MasterCard calls you and tells you your credit limit has gone from $15,000 to $5,000. Oh, wow. Did you understand the difference? Mm-hmm. No, no, okay. say that again. No, quantitative okay. tightening. Quantitative, quantitative tightening yeah, yeah. is 15 becomes 5. Uh-huh. Quantitative easing is 5 becomes 15,000. Gotcha. Which means, guess what, Adam? Go spend more money. Yeah. We got your back. That's not your money, but we'll let you spend more money. Uh-huh. Wow. Quantitative tightening is, listen... <laughs> We are seeing your spending habits. We're taking ten thousand yeah. back. Your credit yeah. limit is only five thousand. For the longest time, in the since oh eight, whatever the timeline has been with quantitative easing, let's bail all these big guys out. Mm-hmm. The more we've bailed people out, the more they've sat around saying, "Oh, it's okay, man. My daddy's gonna bail me out. Oh, my daddy's gonna bail me out. Do whatever you want, bro. Daddy's gonna bail you out. Like a hundred. My daddy's gonna bail me out. My daddy's gonna bail me out. My daddy's gonna bail me out. It's time to stop bailing these bigger companies out. They're too big to fail." Today, when we're going to quantitative tightening, every single month, their plan is to take $95 billion of credit off the table. So what does this mean? The government's going to say, hey, Mr. Bank XYZ, you had this much, now we're lowering it. And every month, we're taking $95 billion off the table, okay? They're tightening Mm -hmm. the economy. We have not experienced this ever In the history of America, we tried quantitative tightening briefly in 2008 for maybe a couple months. The market crashed when we tried quantitative tightening. No, 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 no. Here you go. Here, put some more money into the market. Feed more money into the market. When they did that, Mm. they bailed out the guys at the top. Mm. The guys at the top got richer. Middle America, the division got wider. Now we got people that can't mm-hmm. afford to buy a house. It's eight times their mm-hmm. income. What the hell are you going to do? Keep increasing the minimum wage? That's not the strategy on what to do. That's not the solution mm-hmm. to do that. So we're about to go through quantitative tightening. And I hope this next phase that we go through, they don't get in the way of these companies going out of business. The part about capitalism that I love is the following. And this wait, wait, wait. Can we, before we move on from this. Let me make this point, and then you can go to it. This is the part. Because I didn't understand totally. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This is the part. Yeah. The part I love about capitalism is is four freedoms. You have the freedom to buy. Mm -hmm. You have the freedom to sell. We have the freedom to try. And last but not least, which some people don't like, we have the freedom to fail. Oh, I love that. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. I didn't come up with it. Founding Fathers came up with it, so don't give me the credit for it. No, no, no. Pat, that was all you. Freedom to sell, freedom to try, and a freedom to fail. We have to let the too big to fail fail. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's that simple. And we've stopped that the last 15 years. You know what's even scarier? Do you know in the history of America? Do you know in the history of America, okay, since the, the Great Depression, do you even prior to that, 1850s? Do you know what's the longest time America's ever gone without a recession? When do you think it is? You ready? Today. 14 years. Wow. <gasps> no way. Yes. Four? We've had wow. recessions every five to seven wow. years, and they last oh six gosh. months to 43 months. We have gone 14 years without a recession. So we're about to we pop. desperately, not in a negative way, we desperately need a recession. Mm-hmm. Whoa. We desperately need a Wait, recession. Wait, is that, is that the, because um, of um, because uh, of Uncle Trump? <laughs> well, no, uh, no, the economic expansion what? was 129 months Initial prior to qu- uh, the 129 months of economic expansion that we had started in 08. So that economic Since the last recession. You got yeah. so you got to go from Bush to Obama to Obama okay. to Trump okay. to so. Walk but people through. think that COVID was a recession. It was just a brief blip COVID's on not, like a drop not a and then back up yeah. because of quantitative easing yeah. and money very printing. And, and Pat, not to cut you off, Bob, but so do you think Pat because this administration isn't admitting like, hey guys, like it's really bad right now. It's happening. They're just getting like the elastic band. Guys, is just this stretching, is not stretching. a Democratic thing or Republican thing. You be, because during this economic e- expansion that we've had, we had a year of Bush left. But when did uh, Obama get elected? Oh, wait. The, oh wait. Can you, can you pull up exactly what month uh, the 128-month economic expansion started? Mm-hmm. I think it's like sometime in 08. So it's Obama, Obama, Trump, Biden. You got three, uh, you got two, three Democrats. Terms is what I'm, I'm not saying three mm-hmm. Democrats. Mm-hmm. You got three Democrats. You got one Republican. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what did all of them pretty much do? 
Let's print to bail out. What month did it start? What month did it start? June of 09. Is it June of 09? Mm-hmm. Okay, who was the president in June of 09? Because Obama took office okay. in January of 09 so after he was elected so in 08. So econo- mm-hmm. the greatest economic expansion, just so you know, Batya, oh started God. under Obama. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here. 